quick shout out to my patrons without you guys this wouldn't be possible so thank you thank you thank you hey y'all it's kate from literary apothecary and welcome back to another episode of bibliotherapy sunday now today we're going to do this video a little bit differently and i'm going to talk about a book that i just finished reading this past week um and the the novel cure actually has two recommendations for this book so i'm going to talk about the recommendations and then i'm going to go into a short spoiler free review of this book this book is the hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy by douglas adams y'all i love this book so much and i'll talk about why in just a minute let's talk about these bibliotherapy recommendations first and foremost if you've read the hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy you'll completely understand this first recommendation and that is for the inability to find a cup of tea so <clears throat> the novel cure says your need for a cup of tea cannot be greater than Arthur Dent's after one particularly trying Thursday where he goes and you know I won't talk about what happens because that'll be spoilers um, but just take it from me if you haven't read this book yet your need is not as great as Arthur Dent's was in this book and also Arthur Dent tells a, an alien alien machine essentially the history of tea and how to properly make it which then after t over over time results in the best cup of tea that he's ever had so if you are unable to find a cup of tea or you can't get a cup of tea at the moment but you really need one read the hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy because then you'll realize a your need for tea is not as great as Arthur Dent's and you can commiserate with Arthur Dent about needing some, a cup of tea. Now the second recommendation for The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy will lead me into my review and that is fear of science fiction. So um, part of this recommendation is the 10 best novels for science fiction beginners. Um, and the novel cure says that instead of science fiction, think of it as speculative fiction, quote, end quote. As Margaret Atwood puts it, fiction that explores the possible directions in which the human race could go. And like I said, this was part of the their list of the 10 best novels for science fiction beginners. And um, the, the idea of this being an exploration of possible directions where humans can go is just space travel and interactions with aliens and different species and you know the idea of just exploring space on its own and you know maybe one day we won't have an earth and then what will happen will there be one sole person left like Arthur Dent or will we be expanded into the universe by then and you know will have other earths essentially so it kind of explores a little bit on that um, and also explores in a very um, satirical way a very funny way the history of earth so this is listed on the 10 best novels for sci-fi beginners i think because a it's absolutely hilarious it'll make you laugh the whole time and it doesn't take itself seriously so you shouldn't so that makes it a great read for beginners it's easy to follow and easy to read sometimes those are the same thing in books and sometimes they're not the same but in this book they are one and the same is both easy to follow and easy to read um, there's not a lot of big words so you can read it very quickly it's short look at how short it is it's only 210 pages just barely 200 pages and all of the books are pretty much that short too it's a whole series of five books a trilogy of five it claims um i haven't read the other books yet but i will they're on my tbrs that i need to get caught up on um and also last but not least you will find yourself falling into this new world uh, without even realizing it it almost like arthur dent did so i gave this book five out of five stars i absolutely loved it so much it was the comedy that i needed during a stressful week 
Um, it was the levity that I needed amongst some heavier reads and it was absolutely what I needed at that moment. It was so great. I recommend it to everyone. I think most people, at least most readers that I interact with, have read this series at least once in their lifetime. But I feel like it also would benefit from rereads, especially if you've read it when you were younger and you haven't read it yet now that you're an older and adult. Definitely go back and reread it. It is so good and definitely a fantastic book for science fiction beginners. I read a little bit of science fiction here and there. I've been reading more and more lately, um, but I think I would still consider myself pretty much a science fiction beginner. And this book is great for getting into science fiction because it's not one of those serious science fictions that makes you think all the time um, and therefore might turn you off from science fiction if you're one of those people that don't like those kinds of books. It, but it's hilarious, it's short, it's easy, you know, all of the above. So if you haven't yet, if you're like me and you haven't read The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, go read it now. You will not regret it. If you need a cup of tea and you can't have one, read this book and commiserate with Arthur. Um, and that's it for now. Please let me know in the comments below your ideas for Bibliotherapy Sundays. I love talking to y'all. Um, as always, my Patreon and my Discord information will be in the description below. There's no pressure to join either, but we have a ton of fun at both. Keep reading and I love y'all to the moon and back. Bye.